For this video, we will talk about the circle. So stay tuned, let's learn together after this intro. Say we are given two points, x sub 1 comma y sub 1 and x sub 2 comma y sub 2 in a rectangular coordinate system. The distance between the two points can be found by using the Pythagorean theorem. First, draw a right triangle with the distance d as the hypotenuse. The length of the horizontal leg A is the absolute value of the difference of x and the length of the vertical leg b is the absolute value of the difference of y. From the Pythagorean theorem we have b squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Now let's substitute those values. Say we have x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus b squared, which is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared, which is equal to positive and negative square root of the square of the difference of x plus the square of the difference of y. Since we're speaking of the distance, we will disregard the negative value. So we have the distance formula. Now, let's use that idea to find the equation of a circle. From the definition, a circle is defined as the set of all points in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed point called the center. The fixed distance from the center is called the radius and is denoted by r, where r is greater than zero. Suppose a circle is centered at the point h comma k and has radius r. The distance formula can be used to derive an equation of the circle. Let x comma y be an any arbitrary point on the circle. Then, by the definition, the distance between h comma k and x comma y must be r. So let's use the distance formula for this. r is equal to the square root of x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared. So let's square both sides. So r squared is equal to x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared. Now we now have the equation for the circle. When a circle is centered at the origin, h comma k, then h is equal to 0 and k is equal to 0, and the equation simplifies to x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So we now have the equations r squared is equal to x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared. And another one, if the center is the origin, we have r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. So those are the standard equation of a circle. Now let's apply those formula in finding the equation of the circle in standard form. So write the equation of a circle in standard form given the center and radius. So let's say, for example, we have the center at the origin with the radius, which is equal to the square root of 10. Now let's use the formula x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared. So we have to replace those values x minus 0 quantity squared plus y minus 0 quantity squared is equal to the quantity of the square root of 10 squared. To simplify the equation, 
we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 10. So that would be our solution. On the next example, if the center is at the point 3, comma, negative 4, and the radius is equal to 6. Now let's apply the same formula. We're going to replace h and k. So the h is 3 and negative 4, which is equal to 6 squared. So let's simplify. So we have now a new equation, which is x minus 3, quantity squared plus y plus 4, quantity squared equals 36. That's the answer for the second number. Now let's have a third example. So if the center is at 0, comma, 11 over 7, and the radius is 8 over 3. Let's take a look on this one. So x minus 0 quantity squared plus y minus 11 over 7 quantity squared equals the quantity of 8 over 3 squared. Now, to simplify the answer, we have x squared plus y minus 11 over 7 quantity squared equals 64 over 9. On our next example, we're going to do the opposite. The standard equation of the circle is given. We're going to find the center and radius of the circle. Let's say, for example, number 1. So, x plus 3 quantity squared plus y minus 4 quantity squared equals 9. So, remember the formula. x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. So, we have x minus negative 3 quantity squared plus y minus 4 quantity squared. So now the center is negative 3, comma 4, and the radius is equal to 3. On our next example, x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 16y plus 61 equals 0 is an example of an equation of a circle which is written in general form. So how are we going to approach this one? So we can solve this problem by completing the square. So here are the steps on how to complete the square and find the center and radius of the circle. The first step is to combine like terms. Move the constant to the right hand side. Next, complete the square by dividing the coefficient of the second term by 2 and then square the quotient. Say for example we have the coefficient of the second term is 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 squared or 1 times 1 is equal to 1. The same thing with 16. So we have negative 16 divided by 2 is negative 8 and the square of negative 8 is 64. Since we add 1 and 64 to the left hand side we are going to do the same to the right hand side so that still our equation is equal. Now, let's go into factor and simplify. So, the center we got there is negative 1, comma 8, and the radius is 2. On our third example, we have x squared plus y squared minus 5x plus 3 equals 11. You may pause the video if you want to try to get the answer. Let's go to the solution. So the center is 5 over 2, comma 0, and the radius is the square root of 57 over 2. Did you get the same answer? Okay, let's move on to the next example. So we have 2x two, two squared. So we have 2x squared plus 2y squared plus 24x minus 4y equals negative 25. Again, you may pause the video if you want to try to get the center and the radius of the equation. So let's proceed to the solution. The center of the circle 
is at negative 6 comma 1 and the radius is equal to 7 over the square root of 2. That would be all for this lesson. If you learn from this lesson, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell to be notified for our next lesson. Thank you and hope to see you on the next video.